Hi, if you're like me, you know Star Trek 1966 is one of the best TV series of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun if you put up a chair by the campfire and watch it again with the entire cast of then and now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's see together. James T. Kirk is played by actor William Shatner. In 1966 when filming, he was 35 years old, and now he's living healthy life at the age of 91. Engines. And if we can't, we'll be trapped in orbit there. We haven't enough power to blast back out. It is the only possible way to get Mitchell off this ship. If you mean strand Mitchell there, I won't do it. It's technique to keep the spontaneity up when it isn't spontaneous. I mean, there's so much involved. But no, you can't lie. You can't lie to that camera. It's like... Lieutenant Leslie is played by actor Eddie Baskey. In 1966 when filming, he was 27 years old, and sadly on August 17, 2021, he passed away at the age of 81. All channels clear to Uhura? All channels clear, sir. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Leslie. <laughs> Nick Cure that uh, uh, is... is uh, Cars all worked well. Lieutenant Yoda Uhura is played by actress Nichelle Nichols. In 1966, when filming, she was 34 years old, and sadly, on July 30th, 2022, she passed away at the age of 89 in Silver City, New Mexico, USA. Thank you. He's working out a training program for Charlie Evans, uh, Earth history, his own background, that sort of thing. I'd like you to give him the necessary and life forms, uh, protecting ourselves only if attacked and then only to the degree that we were selfie. Lieutenant Hikaru Sulu is played by actor George Takei. In 1966, when filming, he was 29 years old, and now he's living out the life at the age of 85. I don't know if it's this planet or what happened with Joe. I'm sweating like a bridegroom. Yeah, me too. For stables. And thinking back now, I can't imagine how degrading and humiliating. Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy is played back to DeForest Kelly. In 1966, when filming, he was 46 years old. And sadly, on June 11, 1999, he passed away at the age of 79 in Los Angeles, California, USA. Expecting too much out of him. I'm ordering you to drop it. No time for you, your theories, your quaint philosophies. I intend to challenge your actions and my medical records. I'll stay. Your residuals were given to actors in perpetuity. Right. So all those years, you know, it was just suddenly you were unemployed, but you, you did get a certain amount. Mr. Spock is played back to Leonard Nimoy. In 1966, when filming, he was 32 years old, and sadly, on February 27, 2015, he passed away at the age of 83 in Los Angeles, California, USA. No, make that six. One crewman seemed to have recovered. That's when they became interested in extrasensory perception. The new producers didn't have a feeling for the show, and therefore they couldn't transmit the proper feeling to the writers. And the material they were buying, the scripts they were buying, were not good Star Trek. Yeoman Janice Rand is played by actress Grace Lee Whitney. In 1966, when filming, she was 36 years old, and sadly, on May 1st, 2015, she passed away at the age of 85 in Coarse Gold, California, USA. But I have to go. I I'm on duty. Do you like that guy? Yes, I... It's my favorite. happens to the alcoholic as he drinks, or she drinks, we get bloated. And I could see that, but as far as my performance is concerned, I... Anson Pavel Shikov is played by actor Walter Koenig. In 1967, when filming, he was 31 years old, and now he's living out his life at the age of 86. If you insist on worrying, worry about me. I've been wanting to get you on a place like this for a long time. Check out. This animated show as budget conscious as they could and uh, and in fact they wanted major to do commodore jose mendez is played back to malachi throne in 1966 when filming he was 38 years old 
and sadly on March 13, 2013, he passed away at the age of 84 in Brentwood, California, USA. Last you ain't. You had no right to come along. RHIP, Captain. Rank out his privileges. So, next generation is when we have to, yeah, we meet um, Spock again. Yes. Who is maybe 200 years old at this time, I don't know. Montgomery Scotty Scott is played back to James Doohan. In 1966, when filming, he was 46 years old, and sadly, on July 20th, 2005, he passed away at the age of 85 in Redmond, Washington, USA. By the winter mix. I call the formula in from the bridge. Entering upper stratosphere, Captain. Skin temperature now 2170 degrees. If to me, you know, I said, yeah. He says, I'll talk to you this afternoon. By 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I was... Nurse Christine Chapel is played by actress Michelle Barrett. In 1966, when filming, she was 34 years old. And sadly, on December 18, 2008, she passed away at the age of 76 in Bel Air, California, USA. Her face is wet. I came to tell you that we are bound for Vulcan. He always was such a liberal in everything, and sure, he believes in, in uh, equality amongst the sexes, as long as it didn't interfere with his home life, you see, that's the... Dr. Theodore Haskins is played by actor John Lormer. In 1966, when filming, he was 60 years old. And sadly, on March 19, 1986, he passed away at the age of 79 in Burbank, California, USA. I believe we have a visitor. <laughs> Lieutenant Kyle is played by actor John Winston. In 1967, when filming, he was 40 years old. And sadly, on September 19, 2019, he passed away at the age of 91 in Los Angeles, California, USA. Mr. Spock, I tried. Agonizer. No, Mr. Spock. Your agonizer, please. No, Mr. Spock. I tried. I really tried. What is your favorite character from the movie Star Trek? And what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and press the bell to wait for my next videos.